everybody. My name is Nelson Bauer, Deputy Fire Marshal in Orange Beach, Alabama. This week I want to talk about building standpipe systems uh, and more specifically combination sprinkler and standpipe risers. And what you'll do is, uh, what you'll see is that I'll, um, I'll come into the fourth floor of Phoenix Orange Beach here, which is a 22 story high rise. And we're going to look at the floor level uh, control valves and the actual standpipe connections uh, and just kind of make, make ourselves familiar with them. Here at Phoenix Orange Beach in Orange Beach, Alabama, what you're looking at here in the fourth floor of this 22 story high rise is a combination sprinkler and standpipe riser. When I say combination, it supplies the flow of water for the sprinkler and the standpipe. So let's look at that design. Standpipes are designed for 500 gallons per minute in the first stairwell and 250 gallons in the second. And then you add on top of that the sprinkler system demand. One of the first things you'll see as part of this assembly is the hose outlet, which is a two and a half inch outlet with pressure regulating valve. Pressure regulating valve is there because this one is equipped with a fire pump due to being 22 stories. The pressure regulating valve reduces the downstream pressure or nozzle pressure under flow conditions. Know that this one here is field adjustable, so you can adjust one way or the other as needed. The next area I want to touch on is the sectional floor control valve. This sectional floor control valve controls water on this particular floor. So let's say I have a sprinkler activation on the fourth floor. I could shut it off right here at this control valve and then open up that main drain up there at the top that you see and it's going to only kill the water on that floor while maintaining water at our standpipe. In addition to maintaining water at the standpipe connection for us to do mop up and whatnot, we also still maintain the sprinkler system at all other floors. One of the biggest challenges I've seen is that firemen will immediately go to the riser room, kill the fire pump, and kill the water in the main room. This kills water to the sprinkler system and the standpipe for the whole building. You don't have to do that when you have floor level sectional control valves. Keep that in mind. Thank you all for being with me this week. Hope that you all enjoyed talking about building standpipe systems briefly. Uh, talking about combination sprinkler and standpipe risers. But then also the three areas we talked about. Hose outlets and PRVs, floor control valves, and the main drain. Hope you all have a great week.